Right folks, I've come out of that path at last. Hell of a path. I've been right over, right down the other side of that hill, right over there. God, I forgot how steep it was. There's a path there that would lead you to the contour path and Wordsworth Place. There's um, Smith's Coombe and the big tall trees down there, look. Trick point over there. And we'll be, there's a junction point in a minute. We'll be turning off going up. That one will take you to the trick point again. We're going to go up and round towards Bicknoller Post eventually. Oh, I said I ain't looking at the time till I get to Bicknoller Post. That's the plan, otherwise you get too anxious. I hear some fire beaters here. Don't forget, uh, it's a big risk, these sort of areas, uh, as the summer progresses. Um, it can be quite, quite dodgy when the bracken starts to dry out, especially. There is controlled burning that is done by the rangers. They do do some sort of controlled burning as well. But uh, officially summer's not until next week. Next, um, a week today will be officially summer, but also, officially the start of summer, but also we start losing two minutes a day of light. Now I can never understand that. It's the start of the summer and they cut the light. I don't know why we can't have longer, longer um, light. I really can't. It, it makes winter come so close. It makes winter so long. We've only, this is the first time really we've had any proper weather for the summer. Most of May, which went, was grey and windy and cold. I can remember years ago, especially in the 70s, we used to get heat waves in March, April, May. Lovely land though, isn't it? Getting richer and richer and it'll get more colourful once the gorse and the heather comes out. Oh, can hear a cuckoo. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! It's in one of those bushes. Yeah, that's right, bro. We can't see the big Noller post or anything like that yet. We have still got to plough our way up a more, a little bit more hill. By the time, this is, I don't know if it's true, by the time I get through past that tree, I should be able to see the other side and see mine heading that again. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I've done, I went down through Smith's Coombe and I've really come along the back of that massive big piece of land there on the other side of it. I came on the other side of it. Hinkley Point sticking out there. So it's nice to have done it. And of course it means now I've got to come back. If I'd had the other two hours, of course I would have been able to do Wordsworth's home. No, I don't want to rush it. I rather don't, really don't want to rush doing that. I'm, when I go there, I like to spend time and I want to talk to the monks about the progress of the building and everything. And I was supposed to have my picnic round that way, but never mind. I did know in the back of my mind that there was I was cut off too much doing this big piece. Yeah. I tell you, that breeze is so welcoming. Without it, this would be baking. 
and the odd cloud. I'm welcoming, welcoming it. Those clouds, every now and again, they guard you from the heat of the sun. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's just zoomed into Hinkley again. We won't be seeing much more of it now. Once I go over the hill. They're supposed to be expanding it because of the energy crisis. And uh, Russia and stuff like that, not cutting off the ties with them. So China have been helping us out with that. China have kept a bit of a low profile as far as Russia is concerned at the moment. But Russia, God, I can't believe what Russia have been doing. You just wonder if it is Putin and not his um, other people that run the place. It's really so unbelievable because not long ago everyone in the world was having memorials to the two world wars and other wars and saying it must never happen again. And he's gone in with guns blasting. He's lost a lot of his own people. Thousands of his soldiers have been killed. Thousands, if not millions. It's, it's getting that way. The poor people, they had such a lovely life. They were describing how peaceful their lives were out in the countryside. They weren't doing anyone any harm. They looked like us as well, you know, I mean, not, it doesn't matter if they didn't look like us. But it makes you realise it could be us. When you look at them, you think, God, they, they like us. They, they have their phones, they've got TV, they've got fridges, they've got homes, and mobiles. The children go to school. They wear similar clothing. Right, I'm just going to point out an image. Right through that gap, I don't know if it'll come out, is Dunkery Beacon in the distance. I don't know if it'll come out, because it's very misty, but it says Dunkery Beacon. Which I've climbed across. I keep walking and I have to maintain quite strenuous walks in order to maintain my own strength, if you know what I mean. Right folks, I can see the Bicknoller post area. We're here, we've done it, but we haven't been able to do Holford. We've had to miss out the whole of that area. We wouldn't be able to do it. No way, I'd need another three or four hours. Just over there we got the trig point that I was on earlier in the day. I can't believe how quick the first couple of hours went. Um, there's the trig point, see? I was on that earlier. I have done quite a sweep around, you see. So that is quite a big chunk, especially that bit over there. And this is the bit I'll have to leave now. When I come another time, what I'll do, to try and compensate for a bit, I'll come up from Bicknoller and I'll go that way. I'll finish the route off and I'll do that bit. Now, if I had my van, if I had my van, I would still be able to do that now. I would still do it. I'd go now. But I wouldn't have to get back for a bus over Bicknoller way. Look at this beauty though, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? Hello Rocky, you following me about? You want some food? Yeah, so that's what the plan is then. Next time I come, I head over there. Not that way, I know that's a straightforward route. No, we'll go that, that path there and round. That's what we'll do. I might even do it next. Well, whenever there's a train free. Right, over and out for a minute, we'll take some pictures. Right, folks, I'm leaving this area now. But when I come back again, there's a bit a post. So I'm going to go straight up that track there and over to Wordsworth, Old Foxen Place, and then back up. I couldn't fit that particular patch in without an awful lot of rushing, and I didn't want to rush it. Okay, so 
I only had about an hour to spare and you can't do it in an hour. Not without really ruining the whole thing. So I've done what I wanted. I wanted to go down Smith's Coombe and I really enjoyed it. The peace, the beautiful stream. I've come right across the moor there. Um, it was all uphill. It was hard work. I did need the hat on, but there's a lovely breeze. Not, a cl not many clouds now though, folks, look. There's a lovely breeze. Said goodbye to the sheepies. I just love this place. I just love it here. I really love it. I've loved it since I was a little tiny toddler. When I first was let loose up here. No, I wasn't a toddler. Well, I could have been. I think that I've been brought up here since I could walk by various members of the family. Not just me dad. I think I was brought up here when I was even small by my sis older sisters. and I've just loved this place. I know you say about me ashes on Glastonbury, but some, I did always want them out here, really, but Glastonbury covers such a wide area. But the only thing about Glastonbury is I don't really know the other side very well. Froome, Yeovil, all that. So I don't actually feel, I think that, I feel as if that's a different tribe over there. But I've been telling everyone they got to put me on Glastonbury tour. they got to walk me up there and let me go. But I do like this place as well. So. I do like it. It'll be out of my hands once I'm gone. Because even though I've tried to encourage them to put me where I want to go... Who knows if they will. Message might not get sent on. <clears throat> you know, who knows? I, I don't want to be left on some shelf. Like some people have been left for a long time. There's Weakham Valley down there, so we know where we're going next time. We come up from Bicknoller, we go up there and round that way. That's the plan. And we can either come up through Holford or do Lady's Edge. I'm just taking my time. If I get back for the Hoppos 4 bus, I'll have to, I don't, I think it'll be a very, very tight squeeze whether I get the train or have to wait an hour for the next one. If I'm going to have to wait an hour, I'd rather be out here waiting and get a later bus, see what I mean, which might make the connection. It will, because it should give me a good half an hour after I get back to go to the loo and all that sort of thing. Right, over now I get again. Out here. This is my healer. This is my healer here.